Okay, so in this problem we're told a scuba diver and her gear displace a volume of 65 liters and have a total mass of 68 kilograms. A, what is the buoyant force on the diver in the seawater? And B, will the diver sink or float? So we're given this diver here and we know they're going to be in this uh, water, right? So they're submerged in water here and we know the volume uh, that the diver and the gear is going to displace is equal to 65 liters. And we know the mass of our diver here and her gear is a total of 68 kilograms. And we're going to be solving for two things. So in A, we're trying to answer uh, what the buoyant force is. So what is the buoyant force that's going to be uh, acting on the diver? And then in B, uh, we're trying to determine whether she's going to sink or not. So is this buoyant force basically uh, going to be greater than her weight or is it going to be less? Uh, if it's less, she will sink. If it's greater, she's going to float upwards. So the first thing we have to do, though, is find the buoyant force. And so how do we do that? So the first thing you need to know is uh, the formula for the buoyant force. So the buoyant force in this case, or basically any case, you need to know that the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced water. So if you have a, a person in uh, submerged in water, their buoyant force acting on them, uh, acting on them is equal to the weight of uh, the water that's going to be displaced. Okay, so we know that the water uh, displaced, right? We can just say weight of the water, right? Where this is the weight of the water displaced is equal to the buoyant force. Well, the weight of the water, we know weight is just equal to, uh, is just basically the force to gravity, right? So we have the mass of the water. I'm just going to call it MW uh, multiplied by G, right? But what is the mass of this water that's going to be displaced? Well, we know the formula, density, which we denote by rho, is equal to mass over volume. Therefore, uh, multiplying both sides by V, you get the formula M equals V. So the mass equals volume times density. So in this case, uh, if you have the volume of the water displaced times the density of water uh, multiplied by G, that's going to go ahead and give you uh, right your weight of the water, which is equal to your buoyant force. So. Uh, what we're going to want to do is find all these. So we know G is just the acceleration due to gravity. That's a constant. Uh, we know that the um, density of water is a constant too. And then we need to find the volume of the diver. Uh, but when we do this, uh, we need to make sure we have it in the right unit. So uh, the volume of water we can't have in liters. We actually have to put it into uh, we have to put it into the correct units, right? So it can't be in this. It has to be in uh, meters cubed. So you need to know the conversion for that. Basically, 65 liters is equal to one or a thousand cubic or sorry, 1000 liters is one cubic meter. So one meter cubed is equal to 1000 liters. So you basically just divide by a thousand. So 65 uh, divided by a thousand is equal to 0 0.065. Now we're in meters cubed. And yeah, so now we have it in the right units. So you have 0 0.065, and then you're going to multiply that by the density of water. And so the density of water is equal to, uh, generally the thing you use is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And then you multiply by G, which is 9.8. So keep in mind the row of water or the density is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And so notice how this works. Uh, this is in meters cubed, right? The volume, this is kilograms per meter cubed. So these units will cancel. And then this is obviously meters per second squared. So you basically have mass multiplied by meters per second squared, which gives you newtons. So our answer is going to be in newtons. So 0 0.065 times 1,000 times 9.8, that'll give you a value equal to 637. So 637 newtons. Uh, that's going to be your buoyant force. Keep in mind, if you use a more exact value of your uh, density of water, you're going to get a little different answer, but I'm just going to use 1,000 here. Um, but yeah, so 637 newtons, that's going to be your answer to A. So the buoyant force acting on our diver here uh, was just equal to the weight of water. And then we had to replace the mass of water uh, using this formula, right? So mass equals volume times density. And then, yeah, we just had to plug in. And so now we know what the buoyant force is. So for B, we're trying to figure out, is she going to sink or not? And if she's going to sink, that means the weight of uh, the diver is greater than this buoyant force. So let's calculate the weight of the diver now. 
So the weight of the diver is equal to the mass of the diver and their gear, keep that in mind. Or the scuba diver, right? So uh, we know their mass is six, or their, the mass combined is 68 kilograms with the gear, uh, times 9.8. So 68 times 9.8. You will get 666.4 newtons, right? So keep in mind the weight is going to be 600, or sorry, 666. My bad. So basically 666.4 newtons that way, and then the buoyant force is obviously going to pull the diver upwards. Sorry about that. Let me try to fix that. There we go. And then upwards, it's going to be a force of the buoyant force, which was 637. So notice that the force downwards is obviously greater. So if the force uh, downwards is greater, it's going to pull them down and they're going to sink. So uh, the answer to B, whether they're going to sink or not, they're going to sink, right? Because uh, the weight of the diver is basically greater than the buoyant force. So your answer for B is going to be sink. And that's the reason because of that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, your answers for these are uh, 637 newtons here. And then uh, your answer for B is going to be sink. Right, that's all they're asking. Yeah, so sink, and then uh, that's the buoyant force. Uh, just a quick recap of what we did. Uh, you know the buoyancy force is equal to the weight of the water displaced. Weight of water is just the mass of the water times gravity. All right, this is just the force due to gravity. Uh, and then we just replace the mass of the water with uh, density times volume. And then we know those values. Uh, obviously, we had to convert here into meters cubed to get the units right. Uh, but then it was just a matter of plugging it in. And then this one. Uh, we know the weight of the diver is greater than the buoyancy force, therefore they're just going to get pulled down. Uh, but yeah, so these are going to be your two answers, and hopefully you found this video useful.